Next project is Seven Swords Double O Series Gundam from Daban Model. This unit was bought in uh, bought in a place called Union Eight on Jalan Raja Laut for sixty ringgit uh, on the Ju on July two thousand and thirteen. So now it's two thousand sixteen. It has been three almost three years. Now it's April two thousand and sixteen. So. Hmm. We have four plastic bags. Mm, some of those like LEDs for the GN drive, if I'm not mistaken. That's what's what it is called. And this is the manual. Got accessories, the big uh, the big sword here. That's the seven swords. Seven sword or seven swords. <laughs> Plural should be. It's going to be quite complicated. This is an this is a unit not from Bandai but from Daban, which is a third party company from China. You want anything pirated and you want to make it as cheap as possible, go to the world's factory. Earth's factory which is China. But I think now Vietnam will be the next world's factory. All the accessories are the same except for the big sword. Let's go and see. It's the big sword. Got the normal version here, the double O riser, the double O riser or the cockpit thing or the fighter so already seems like a big sword. This one is also from Daban model. It's quite, it's not bad actually. So there are quite a number of runners. There's like I, the number is not important. This is the A double B's. It's outside armor, white colored ones. Outside armor, blue colored ones, which is the runner C. Double D's. E. F double G H double H I there's no J but there's a P somewhat a double P maybe which is only about the only big piece is available this one the other GN sword slash gun is like only one so they're not giving you another extra one which I think is available no no even double riser only has one yeah one big gun so yeah then there's an R which is I think is the big gun there is some kind of wire yeah it's a wire Beam sabers. I don't know what this is. This is an S. It's a weird thing. It's definitely not a stand. It's too small. Polycaps. And this one is the unclassified ones. There are no alphabets to designate the runners. So, too bad. Oh, this is a Q. This is a Q, this, these ones are, there are no alphabets for it. 
the GM drives. What else? And uh, not sure what do we have here. Come out, come out wherever you are. Okay, stickers. These are from a third party company from China, so the stickers I'm not going to apply it because it sucks. Yep, it's not like the contrast is not good enough. If it's like a white sticker, it's just terrible because the white is not white enough, it's just hard to see. These are dry transfers, I think. Yeah, should be dry transfers. But these stickers are ah, okay. These are you can really see the stickers, whereas this one, the stickers here, the markings on a f on a translucent sticker, they're terrible. I'm not gonna use this one. I think maybe I, I no 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 I'm not gonna use it no 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 I'm not gonna use this. So that's it. Let's see you in the next video with the complete build. This is the head. It took me about five to ten minutes to build. It's okay. Easy build. You might find that one of the antenna antennas is a bit crooked. This one here. So it's not as straight as it can be. But never mind. This is a pirated model, a third-party model that's supposed to be cheap. So. So this is the torso of the seven sword Gundam. The white part is can come out quite easily, so fuck. And there goes the pilot. But sits on the perch. Like so Over the whole thing. So there's no elaborate mechanism to like uh, show the pilot. It's only this little tab here. Just open up, and you see a white pilot in there, the white head. I didn't bother to like uh, paint it because who gives a shit? You can't see the pilot anyway. So this is just a small little hatch. Once you put the head into it, it's even more difficult to open up the hatch. So the the breast opens like so and it's like that. So a bit of articulation, the hips or the toss, uh, the abs here moves from uh, moves a bit like so and like so. And there's a bit of crunch as well or back just a bit not much so there is some movement between the breast or torso and the abs so yeah impressive and this is the back of the torso open it up and you see a, a LED and this is the hatch put it in And move it a bit to lock it. That's about it. Simple. And let's put the head into the neck. Yeah. Like so. And that's about it. And see, it's very difficult to access the hatch. Uh, well, maybe with a tweezers, you can open it up easily. Ah, fuck, who gives a shit? Next up. So I finished the arm part. And you can see it here. Cool, eh? The problem that I have with this is, you look at these two places. It's supposed to be green in colour. It's supposed to cover it with this. But it keeps on coming out. So you have to like put it in, 
permanently with a set it in place permanently with a, a super glue because it keeps on popping out so I couldn't couldn't be asked with it so I just leave it alone until one day I might want to like uh, set it on permanently so let's see the articulation of this fine looking arm this is where it attaches to the torso just in case you do not know so it can bend like so and bend this much like so so it's like like having like double elbow system double double elbow joints uh, but it's like blocked by this this protrusion here you'll be putting weapons here yeah to make it more stable the wrist here moves the blue part here that is like attached to the white part it moves like so and like so that's all the blue part moves and the wrist also moves so quite a lot of articulation just for this small little part and the hand moves up and down like so like a Shaolin Kung Fu or downwards okay this is as much as it can go chicken fist And the thumb is like an ordinary looking thumb. The index finger is just, you can move it around the knuckles. And the other fingers, the other three fingers, they are stuck together. But they can move around, oof, shit, around the knuckle joint. Ah, oh, yeah, shit. So I hate doing all these things. These videos and moving it around. God damn it. Look at this pose. Or oh, this grip. It's almost similar to how I grip my dick when I'm masturbating. Oh. So this is the arm. And this is the shoulder armor. Nothing spectacular about it. Can move a bit like so. And like, ooh, can move until the back here into itself. So let's stick the shoulder pads or shoulder armor and the arms into the torso. So first, up, put in the shoulder armor. Is there a satisfying click? No. Uh, I'm not sure whether it should be clicking into place or not. No idea. Okay, okay, never mind. Just put in the arms to to keep the shoulder shoulder arm in place. Like so. Put this one in. Put this one in. Fuck. Aha! Got it. So, arms are finished. That means the shoulder armor is quite like flimsy. Hmm. Let me go and see whether I can do anything about it or not. Well, it's supposed to to actually lock into place. But it can just come out easily because the arms, uh, I mean the shoulder, does not like go in further to stop it from coming out. So yeah, the shoulder armor can just pop out and be a bit flimsy and move around like so. So it's not so solid. Uh, so in the future they should make this like shoulder here a bit, can go in some more to stop the shoulder armor from moving about or popping out of its slot so it's okay I guess 
So this is the completed leg. And it's different from the double O riser by way of this part, which is huge. It's an extra piece. This blue piece is huge. And there's something here, which is, uh, I think you're supposed to hang a sword on it. Small little dagger thingy. So it's quite cool. Let's see how it works in terms of articulation when you bend the knee. Just this part, the knee, okay? You see it? It's like a double jointed knee. Again, yeah, 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 it's nice. I wish there was like some pistons to show off, you know, color the pistons a bit differently, like gold or yellow, uh, not gold, gold or silver to show some pistons inside, but there are no pistons here. It's not the same as the ones in uh, Zaku 2, if I'm not mistaken. I think Zaku 2 has a piston around the knee, it's cool. Again, uh, this green stuff here comes out easily, so super glue it. And we have the foot here. The, the armor here can be moved up to make it easier to access or to like move like so. Yeah, or move like so. And it can do like this. Just the front part can move like this. Can straighten and move up as well. Up a bit. Not much, just a bit. And it can move from side to side. Like so. And like so. This is a broken foot, okay? Just in case you do not know. And that's what it looks like underneath. So, looks cool. This one opening like this, but it's, I think it serves no purpose at all. Hmm, it's quite tight around here, so hmm. this is the waist. And look at this, it broke for the side skirt. This is the peg that connects the pelvis to the side skirts. It's broken. There was no PVC here, so it's just plastic on plastic, and uh, it was too like tight. And I tried to move it, and it's broken. So I do not know how to fix it. I don't think I can fix it at all. So this is the pelvis. This is the laser beam thingies. You can move it like that. You can move it like that. So you can pick up, pick the laser beam beam sabers. Take it out, put it back in, and uh, I think that's about it. You can move like that in the back. So this is a TT Hongli, is it? No, oh, it's a Daban model. Okay, the plastic is soft, so that's why it can break. If you if this was a Bandai, then the plastic is hard and it's harder for the bandai plastic to break off or tear off like this so do not worry when you're buying the original from bandai i've been like doing all these uh, pirated gundams for a long time and the plastic i know is soft you can actually cut through this thing using a new blade quite easily so i don't need to actually use this tweezers to cut all these things i can just directly cut off the plastic piece from the sprue or the runner. If it's a Bandai runner, then it's going to be difficult just using this hobby knife even though it's super sharp. So don't worry about it. Bandai is good stuff. This one, Daban model or TT Hongli or whatever from China, the plastic is a bit soft. So that's why problems arise when you buy the not original stuff so let's put them together oh yeah one more thing it's a cool thing this thing here that connects the pelvis or the groin to the leg 
or the hip it can move up and down uh, uh, I can't show you but yeah and it's independent of the the other side so the left and right is um, independent from each other so cool beans and this is good for if you want to display your Gundam on a stand it's uh, useless for a person who has no stand and you just want the Gundam to stand on a flat surface without kneeling or whatnot so it's quite cool this is a good technology so let's put it together forever and ever hopefully it won't destroy nope it did not break thank god uh-huh uh-huh and this one uh-huh oh it's quite easy actually cool beans cool when you're playing with this be careful cause the plastic that uh, connects the legs to the groin that also tends to like uh, bend uh, what do you call that word uh, tear comes white uh, tends to like pull away and becomes soft and can break and it happened to my RX-78-2 that part there when you're playing around with it too much if it's too tight the connection and it tends to happen with all these uh, pirated Gundams the connection between the plastic is a bit too tight and especially for the areas which tends to like get moved around like the like this part here it would like What's the fucking word? Huh? There's a word for it. Ah, oh, fuck it, I do not know the word, so. Now's the time to put on the torso or the connect the belly button, the belly part to the pelvis part. Ugh. Okay, got it. Cool beans. Cool beans. See, you can move the, you can go up and down this 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 leg. Cool, eh? Yeah, cool. Cool beans. Let's put this back into the side skirt. Like so. Let's see it. Let's pose this baby and let's make him squat by doing this ah. Whoosh. okay even the front part is like fell off yes. hey. Hey. let's squat this baby up like so and so Ooh, look at that cool it's squatting quite nicely and kinda nicely it's okay maybe hmm that's how squatty it can be let's put back the suspenders on this fella here or the what do you call this? Uh, not samurai uh sumo wrestler suspender thingy whatever crotch protector so you can really really bend yourself cool beans i think it works well without the side skirts the side skirts actually has a function which is there's a slot here to put the one of the seven slots so fuck Oh, another cool pose. Oh, nice.
cool beans. So this is the backpack with the GN drives, two of them. Cool, 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 cool. And this is the hole that uh, that connects to the back of the Exia. Yep, it's called the Exia, right? Uh, no, double riser. Yeah, double riser. So let's see. Can it actually move much? Not really. It cannot move much at all. So supposed to no no only this part here this part here can move yeah can do like so and can oh shit it came out well you might want to like uh super glue that part if you want it to like not come out like what it ha what happened so like so so it acts like a like a cloak in front of the shoulders I think there was a sequence like this uh, where the double riser wanted to fly away while you, while facing the enemy or something like that I think GN drives can be taken out quite easily oh, shit. there's that uh, LED inside like so is the LED As I said, it should be super glued. Let's put it on this Gundam. A couple of uh, videos ago, I said that this small little hatch uh, should be what super glued as as well, because it can come out quite easily. While well, wanting to access the cockpit. So, yeah, there are many parts where you should super glue it. So, let them see, there are three slots here. Let's put it all lined it well, straight, and just pop it in. The front part keeps on falling. The suspenders, this chastity belt keeps on falling. So put on top, put at the back, has been detected. yes, 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 <clears throat> okie dokie, now it's the double O riser with larger caps, kneecaps to protect it because he's a big ass footballer with shoulder pads. Yeah, why why do American footballers they have all this like, protection for their shoulders and whatnot? And they're getting brain damage from it, from hitting things or human beings. And that's the double riser. So we want to like make it like a cloak. I got big breast. Cool. Yep, cool. A bit front heavy, unfortunately, like all big breasted women are, which is a good thing, I think. I mean, big breast is good, but front heavy is terrible for the women's back, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna do some super gluing. The, this part here, glue, glue, maybe this part here, glue, glue, glue. glue. Just glue whatever that is needs gluing now. The two big weapons have been cre or has been put together and they are called the Bust GN Buster Sort 2 and the GN Sort 2 Blaster. So one's a blaster, one's a sword. GN Buster Sword, GN Sort Blaster, Buster and Blaster. So cool. This is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. And this is what it looks like. 
First, let's take out the plaster stuck to this part here. This is the connector, which is bloody hell stuck in there. Uh -huh. Already, already connected, and I'm supposed to put the GN drive really inside. This is protruding out already, but it's very, very difficult to push it inside. Very, very difficult. So this blaster looks like so. Can move the handles here. It comes a sword as well, something like a sword. And this one can connect to the this part of the hand. There's a hole here. You can see the slot here. Yeah, it's to connect to this one. So let's uh, go and try and see it in blaster mode or shooting stance with both hands no only one hand so there are two places where you can grab onto this one this handle which it comes out easily and this handle here this one is the, the other connector well I have trouble actually putting the the slot here into this one but the manual says to use the the grip, the predestined, uh, molded, and unchangeable digits in grab form, but this one here can't be used. The one with the free moving digits. So, and even this thing here, this is supposed to be attached to this hole here. This is not a poly cap. This is real plastic. So it's very difficult to enter. To slot it in so I'm not going to try because it will stress the plastic and the plastic will break so wish this one was a poly cap this hole here so it's nigh impossible to push it into into place so I'm not going to try and pose with all these weapons I only want it on the GN drives so too bad there's actually another peg here so you can peg to the back of the arm and uh, it's, it's hard to like make the digits go around the blaster handle at the same time pegging it into the hole at the back of the arm so uh, design wise it's a bit uh, difficult to handle so that's the blaster and theoretically you can actually hold it like a sword too let's take out the buster sword like so, the connector this this uh, is not a separate piece, but it's just this small little peg here, which you can close, and it will be like gone. Uh, or you can open it again, so you can peg into the GN drive. Okay, this is a cool little thing. So there's a hole here for the GN drive to like uh, pass through, so that it can stick to it stick to the GN dry holder let's see let's put it into its place or into a, a more smaller form like so this one is something like the the L frame what's that called the ashtray L, L frame the blue ashtray thing where it can turn into a to into a Gatling gun thing, a uh, Gatling gun crossbow thing, or can be something else which is like the red one, the red ashtray. So it's a huge thing. So it's cool, very cool indeed, quite heavy too. There's a place where you can put the LED, which is here. You open it up. But I find that it was very hard to put in the LED. I needed to shave the LED because it can't fit in at all. So uh, huh, there's some issues there. And let's turn it into a sword. It's quite easy. Just uh, open this part up and this part up. Push it down until the hole here, which is empty, comes out like so and that's a sword and good luck in making the double o riser gundam 
in holding this thing. This is quite heavy. And there's also another version. Instead of holding it with one hand, you can make it hold. You can like uh, have it like so. Yeah. Because the arm has a hole at the back of the arm, you can like hold it like so. There will be two handles. One is to like grab it with a handle here and another pack it through the here. So I'm going to do that. Firstly, you can see there is this little handle. So just stick it out. And that's where you'll be holding it with your hand. And this one, if you think it's blocking the way, I think uh, this is essential, right? Instead of just pegging this thing into the double riser area, uh, not sure. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ah, yes, yes. This one is very essential. This one is to peg the back of the arm um, here. There's a hole there. Mm. The hole here. Yep, it's packed into this thing here. So what it can do is it can change its appearance by let's see, let's close this thing. Yeah. Push it in and just do like so. You see the green things? I think that will light up. No, yeah. No. Threat has been detected. So just like that. It's very simple. Hmm. And you see there are translucent parts in here. Uh, here, 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 here. Five of them. And you press the button and it will shine. There will be a light going through it. So hmm, that's the gimmick. It's nothing much. Nothing, sp nothing special. It's just an oversized source. It's just as tall. I mean taller than the the double O Gundam. So these are the extra weapons of the double O Riser Seven Sword variant, and uh, I think the the Seven Sword name comes from the seven pieces of swords, which is this big blade here. One, two, three, four, five. 6 and 7 of course this is uh, welded together or stuck together and this one is not a sword so that's a giant blaster so 7 of these weapons you can see in the background that's a double O riser whereas the Gundam in the foreground is the 7 swords you can compare the knees the knees here are very different the, on a double O riser compared to the Seven Swords. Seven Swords is a bit larger and more Gundam like, whereas the one on the double O riser that's not like any typical Gundam because normally uh, mobile suits and Gundams they have a protruding or extra large kneecap. And that's the only difference between it and uh, the Seven Sword Gundam. You can safely say, besides the the beam sabers, all the other weapons found on the Seven Swords, like all this here, is completely different from the ones that are supplied to the Double O Riser Gundam. But they do look similar. Okay? Similar but different. Similar as in similar in design, but different in length. Let's look at uh, this one already done. The big buster, something like a buster gen sword. The big gun, I'm not going to do that. This one here is different in length to the one found on a double O riser. You can see this side by side comparison. The double O riser has two identical long swords. AKA, I don't know what it's called, but it's a long thing that doubles as a gun as well, or laser blaster. So, this one 
you can remove the tip here and there's supposed to be a wire that attaches to the both ends which has been separated to simulate some kind of uh, projectile weapon that can come back together quite easily via the the wire it's just a normal type of wire with a metal inside uh, coated with some kind of plastic it does not fit well into the holes not at all so too bad it's very difficult to fit them inside the holes here so this is like a sword but it's also a gun so it's the same old shit same as the ones on the double riser the long ones also can become a gun so hmm. so design is all the same so turn it back to a sword this one here is also the same shit but it's much longer compared to the one supplied to the double o riser very much longer so this one it might be the true long sword there are two handles one is here so you can handle it with two hands and of course again it becomes a gun lastly oh yeah I haven't even compared it with the gun that the double o riser is oh fuck I mean oh no it's holding let's see which one is longer uh, nope the shit the double o riser has a shorter sword compared to this thing this one is the longest mm. Then we have the this one. This two of these can be like uh, can be held by the seven swords through here. So it's a double bladed shimitar. I'm not sure what it's called. And it's not the same as the one here. It's not the same. This one is totally different from this one this the design that is totally different as I said earlier looks the same but different in design that's what the Thai people love to say same same but different it's also another metaphor for penises it's the same same but different so let's go and like separate it and put it on the Gundam Gundam seven sword so there are pegs here you can put it on the side like so and of course this one also can be put in like so 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 but you do not want to like uh, put it on the GN drives you can take out this part here and take out this grey part here and there's a peg here for the Gundam 7 sword to hold on to so he's got like two weapons yeah of the same type so it's something like a uh, Hmm, let me see, what kind of character has this type of weapon? Uh, nah, I do not know. I do not know at all. So let's see. Let's mount all the weapons on this 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 seven sword Gundam. In my earlier videos I told you that the side skirt here has uh, broken off. The what do you call that? ball joint or something so I, I super glued the, 
left side skirt armor to the left abdominal armor the red part here so it's a bit higher than this one yeah this armor is a bit higher than this one so too bad and these gray pieces they are for putting your weapons on like this one here this retractable sword thingy let's put it on like so this very long sword let's put it on like so it's like a seven samurai with seven swords Ooh. ah shit put it back inside ah. yeah okie dokie yeah I think it's better to like super glue the front suspender to the main main frame not main frame to the inner inner uh inner frame so got it yep got it next up the shimitars i think it's called yeah holes here so it's to the knees yeah yep easy peasy let's take this one out maybe i'll just like leave this part on but it's quite ugly actually this one is like it's not complete you can see the all the plastic grooves they should have designed it differently so let's take it out and i don't need to take out the handle i don't want to so let's put it on nice what about the big guns big guns this big weapon here this buster sword is easy because the peg is here so just stick it to the gn drive but uh, this one is a stubborn old gun thing uh, stubborn as hell it's going to be difficult to put it on uh, huh. How do you put this? I think it's like this. And yeah. Like so. Okie dokie. Success is sweet when you drink sake with your success. And I'm not gonna bother with the beam sabers because uh, so that's it the seven swords Gundam cool beans mm. and the bull riser Cool beans. And I'm gonna maybe gonna put the dry transfers or some stuff just to give it a bit more marking. Because it looks plain like a plain Jane. And now ladies and gentlemen I have finished putting the stickers and also the dry transfers on the Gundam kit. I've used all the stickers except for this Zoro mask cover. Yep, I still have to save this because of the mask cover. Put it back in the box, and that's the baby. Baby, baby, baby. That's what it looks like when it's all tackled up. I wish I have a roller or lazy Susan that is smaller and not a huge one from my dinner table. And also it has been panel lined, yes, almost forgot about that. 
So that's one. This is the super long sword, beckled as well. Here you can see the dry transfers are very very contrasting from the blue plastic. So I like uh, dry transfers. And uh, as usual, as I suspected, the stickers are terrible and it's not contrasting well. It's just quite ugly because of the square, the ex because of the extra plastic. It's terrible. Beam saber is also deckled with this small little thing here. Don't know whether you can see it or not. I guess not. Fuck it. Then the uh, Buster. What does it say? Buster. Wait. What does it say? GN Sword Blaster. Yep. Not many decals at all. Uh, uh, yep. Not many decals at all. Just a bit. And this is a GN Drive. And uh, did I say that it's quite cool that there's a switch here? If you do not want the GN drive to sloop down, you have to like switch it and it can go down. Yeah, and if you don't want it to go down all the way, the switch you push it like this will make it like oh, you can't. Then if you switch it down here, push the switch until the here, then you can go down. It's quite cool. I like that. I like that a lot. You should implement this more often in all these kits. This is a small detachable pool sword. And uh, scimitar. Deckled here, a dry transfers here. The real scimitar is actually this thing here. And it's like coming out. Only one has uh, issues with this. This one is okay, but this one I think can be remedied with super glue. Because this plastic does not like connect well. Terrible. And now this is me with the unit here. Yeah. Let's uh, put it into its former. Oh, I almost forgot them. The bus. The. What do you call this big sword? Yeah. Deckled, stickered, and ready to fuck. I mean, uh, go. Uh, let's see. Let's put on the G and no. Put the light saber, beam sabers first. Beam sabers at the back. Stick them, stick in the wrong place. It might be the wrong hole, aka the anus or anus, not the vagina. Shit, I should not say all these things. This is a PG thirteen. Video kids are kids might be watching this, and if you're a girl and you're cute and you're 17 years old, contact me. Facebook, yeah. Okay, the GN drives, so stick it at the back, I'll stick it in. That's what she said. Just push it in. That's what she said as well. I didn't say anything, I was just a very nervous person thinking whether. I'm raping this miner or not? Fuck, I shouldn't say that. This is a joke. This is a lot of jokes, okay? I'm not serious. Next, uh, spray this arms like so. And uh, small sword. Stick it maybe here. Yeah. Long sword, very long. Fuck man, it's as long as my Put it here. And what else? What else? Uh, I think that's about it. Aha! Uh -huh. The one shot, one long scimitars. And don't bother to put this one back. I don't care. So, uh, actually, I just take out this one. So put it next to the kneecaps, like so, like so, easy peasy, and the big mamas. Uh, shit. This one is easy. Take out the tab, which is this one here. Stick it to the. Uh, have to 
push it out a bit, exposing a hole here just for the GN drive because if not, the GN drive will be blocking the way. And uh, did I tell you that it's very difficult for this these hands to like? There's a hole in the hand, right? And I even have this one. This one is specifically for holding stuff. It's very difficult to like this peg here. It's hard for it to enter all these holes. So. Uh, design issues I guess who knows and next up the buster gun I think it's called who knows who bloody knows I do not know there's a special special uh, connector here only for the sword shit push this gen drive a bit further downwards shit I push the peg down so it can go down and push it in uh, fuck. Uh -huh. and that's about it that's how you put together the finished product or kit. Just imagine there's a lazy Susan below this Gundam. And that's about it. Finished! Yay! And for comparison, that's the, G, the Gundam Riser. Oh yeah, there's uh, more stickers here forgot about it only one sticker was not used and also the eyes so you can choose either the for the eyes to be, to be able to light up because of the generator or you can just ah there's a lot of uh, choices that you can take when building your your kit it's either friendly with the lighting system or not friendly with the lighting system in regards to the eyes the whatever the GN drives that's supposed to light up so cool beans very nice a lot of accessories that you can put on the on the Gundam which is very important not normally I must say I must tell all these uh, toy designers that if they have accessories like weapons and whatnot you actually get extra points when you design your weapons to be stored in the Gundam or in the robot Either you have to transform the weapons into something else and you can slide it in. It's you get extra points in type in terms of design and also you actually increase the imagination of the child who plays with it. Instead of putting the accessory somewhere else, you can just plug it into your Gundam, which is always a good thing. And perfect thumbs up from me so I like this kit it's very very nice bulky and it looks like a samurai actually a lovely looking samurai girl sayonara